name says it all. It's basically what it is to us. And biggest game of the year, no matter what. So you just got to get that mentality going. And the song irritates you so much that it also gets you ready to go. I guess it's a little bit of the psychology behind it, too. <laughs> About the defense. I mean, you want to feel this time of year that you're peaking. Do you mm -hmm. feel that you are? Uh, mm, we're, we're close. We're really close to where we want to be. And you could say we're like four plays away. So obviously, we need to tighten up what we did on uh, some of those plays. But I mean, if you look at everything else, we're we're getting after people. We're being really aggressive. Um, you know, we're, we've tightened up some things that were weaknesses at the beginning of the year. Now it's just we got to make sure that uh, we can sure up everything we do. Last year you gave up 41 to them, mm -hmm. and that kind of came out of nowhere from them. Um, but it really was the start of your guys' defensive problems in the yep. Michigan State game. Orange Bowl. How confident are you that you, at this time of year, will be able to tighten it down? Um, I'm pretty confident, just because we don't want to have something like what happened last year happen again. Um, and so I think we're going to prepare really well for this game. The guys are going to take it really seriously. Um, we know what's at stake, and it's a little bit more than people would imagine. You, like I said earlier, you got to throw records uh, out the window on this one. You got to know that everybody's going to, um, you know, play their best. Joshua, you led the team in tackles last week. Obviously, you're surrounded by playmakers. Von Bell, we just talked to Curtis Grant. He's swapping out with Ray Do mm -hmm. you guys feel like you're peaking as a unit? in terms of not only the linebacking core, but in, in terms of you guys being able to contain whatever Michigan can throw at you? Um, that's what we're working on right now. Uh, we're getting really close to our goals and what we want to be. We just have to make sure that we can eliminate some of the bigger plays. Um, you know, communication is going to be a big thing for us moving forward and just the whole preparation aspect of it, too. I think preparation has been uh, key for us in a lot of the bigger games, so this is another week where we're going to have to do that. Do you think goes, that what? facing Tevin Coleman helped you guys in the preceding week? Yeah, um, he's, I mean, everybody talks about Gordon, who's a really good running back, but Tevin Coleman's up there with him. Uh, so it's it's always good to face a back like that. You get prepared for a lot of things. What goes Staying through your head when you him. see that helmet, or when they come out and you see that helmet? I mean, being a guy that grew up in this area. I mean, it just it kind of pisses you off a little bit, to be honest. Uh, you know, you get a feeling in your stomach and you just you kind of want to go out there and you got a bad taste in your mouth. So um, that's the whole part of the rivalry. I mean, you got a lot of stuff. We don't like those colors. We don't, I mean, the whole deal. So hey, you guys are so much into routine. It's so important to yeah. players. How does that work out this week when things do change up a little bit? Do you have to kind of pull back at times not to get overhyped? Or how, how do you deal with things feeling different? Um, you just you got to revert back to what we've been trained to do and how we do things around here. So uh, routine is going to be a little bit different. We got the holiday coming up this week, and then obviously it's a very emotional game. But I think what we've done a really good job of this year is um, is keeping our emotions under control and then being able to get into a game, uh, maybe if emotions are running high early and settle down. Uh, so. We'll be able to work with that. I think our, our coaches do a really good job of just preparing us for any situations. What Joshua, motivates what? you the most this week? Is there one specific thing, whether a talk or anything? What gets you going? Uh, just the game itself, um, being from around here and, and growing up watching all those guys play in the game and the success that we've had in the past. Uh, that's what motivates me. I just uh, want the team to play really well. We want to go out there and put the best product on the field. Obviously, well, Michigan has not had the best year. What would it take for this game not to mean everything the way it does? Uh, I mean, it's it's always going to mean everything, and that's the great thing about this game is, um, you know, one team could not have won a game all year, and the other one could be undefeated. But you never know what's going to come out the gate. So that's why you play it. That's why you enjoy it, and that's why you prepare. When's what do you, the last what do you time think? you referred to Michigan as Michigan? Uh, a little while ago, couldn't tell you. Uh, not since I've been here. You guys have been struggling with a turnover battle lately. Obviously, that's not all on you. You know, you got interceptions and fumbles on the offense. But how much is that a focal point with you guys moving forward? Obviously, you go three and three against Minnesota, and in the first half, it looks like the offense is struggling. Is that a motivation for you guys to kind of step up and bail them out? Yeah, the one thing that uh, was getting at me a little bit during the game was the fact that we didn't get a turnover. Um, and it took us a while toward the end of the game to actually get one. Um, and on defense, that's what we want to do. We want to be productive so we can get the ball for our offense, put them in good field position, and then go down and score. So um, whatever it may be, just being aggressive to the ball, um, taking a shot when guys have it, um, you know, trying to make a play on the ball, whatever it is. But 
Uh, turnovers are going to be a big thing moving forward this year. How pumped was Tyvis when he got that pick? That was funny. Uh, he was telling me about the little bet that he had with this coach, and so <laughs> he got the pick and he was doing his deal. He was pointing at the uh, at the video board and everything. So Tyvis is a really fun guy to be around. He's he's one of those guys, like I said before, Darren Lee's an energy guy, but Tyvis is another one too. Josh, you guys when you turn are on the film and, it and ran, look at them. At the other end, folks. When you turn on the film and look at Michigan, what? says you what do you see on film that says this is a good team <laughs> the the personnel they have really good players and uh those guys are all highly recruited guys um who who have shown that they can play well uh so you you just have to know that anytime they prepare and they prepare for a big game like this you know that you're going to get a pretty good product from them so we have to prepare um even harder than we have in the past just to make sure that that we can pass the test but you, you guys have one more game then was that? Why do you think they haven't won more games? I don't know. It could be anything. Um, that's not my job to figure out what it is. My job to prepare here so we can win games. You guys are big favorites, but rarely do you see a blowout in this series. Mm -hmm. Now the fans are all saying it's going to be a big blowout. Why do you think it is that these games are always so tight? Uh, and sometimes a better team doesn't win. Uh, it's just the emotion, um, the pride that people take in the game. Uh, th I mean, it's a combination of things, and so. If you've grown up and you know the rivalry and, and then you know guys across the ball, maybe you have, I don't know, some, some bitter feelings because you might have lost the game before that you don't think I mean, you should have lost. Whatever it may be, guys are just really jacked up for this game. Guys know how important it is to the fans, everybody living in the state, uh, you know, mom and dad, your neighbor, everybody's going to be talking about the game. So it's just... It's one of those deals. Is this thing like a street fight? I mean, literally, I mean, it, how physical does it get down there? What's it like to play in this thing? I mean, it's a really, really physical game. Um, everything's clean, you know, not all the cheap shots and everything, but guys are just getting after it. You want to hit your opponent hard uh, between the whistles. You know, you want to you make sure they feel it.